Hello friends, David here. I'm sure many of you experienced this. You want to buy US or overseas stock, but you're not sure how to do it. You end up using Maybank, RHB Bank or DBS Vickers. Not only are those expensive, not user-friendly, and takes forever for a trade transaction to complete. The changes can be expensive. And unless you like to burn money, don't do that. Or unless you're some millionaire who always asks, do you drink water? Saying he wants to help you, but charge you $5,000 calls instead. But not for this channel, this channel is free. I have a day job and I put in many hours into making this so that it adds value to you. So if you appreciate it, if you like what you're seeing, smash the like button. It will help a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will help this channel a lot. Do subscribe and do support this channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to buy US or overseas stock using a US brokerage firm called Interactive Brokers. In short, IBKR. I'm going to talk about the good things, the fees, how to buy shares with it, and how to fund your account with it. IBKR is founded in 1977. It is then listed in NASDAQ in 2006. And it is the largest electronic trading platform in US. It has one of the lowest commission fee and allows you access to different markets around the world. Stocks, options, futures, bonds, currencies, and funds, you name it, they have it. They're like the Thai fund for your investment platform. And recently, they just set up an office in Singapore, so this means that you can also trade Singapore stock. People say that IBKR platform is hard to use. Today, I say you haven't seen the worst. Fees-wise, it is also one of the cheapest at USD1. I do not know what else you can ask for. And just this year, IBKR has also announced that they will waive the monthly fee of USD10 without any criteria. So with that, I do not know what else I can ask for in a trading platform. Currency conversion-wise, it also offers one of the best forex rates. If you just Google the currency conversion rate and you look at IBKR, you can find that the rates are almost similar. And people may ask, is it safe? What if it goes bankrupt? Takut cucuk. Don't worry, because it is insured by SIPC up to $500,000. Unless, of course, you say you have more than $500,000, then you just go to other accounts. No? Or, of course, unless suddenly a lightning strike all the 10 servers of IBKR servers and burn them all down, then really no? Next up, I'm going to show you how to open an account and how to fund it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to open an interactive broker account. You click Individual Investor, then you scroll to the most bottom, click Start Application. In here, you're required to fill in all different details. Just fill in and then click Create Account. You'll be asked to upload different documents and your KYC, so please fulfill it. And after a few days, you will get your registration done. This is the main page that you will have after you have registered for IPKR. It will show you the total investment amount and the NAV change, along with other details such as your top portfolio positions and your watch list. Have a look at your total portfolio. You just click Portfolio position and these are the list of shares that you own alongside with other parameters if you want to edit these parameters simply go to here click edit columns for example i want to look at my profit unrealized profit percentage okay so it will appear here say for example if you want to buy shares for example recently you have heard that uh, Tesla is quite famous. You want to buy Tesla. Go to here, Tesla, stock. Here you can see the list of candlestick. You can even change all these different indicators. And if you want further indicators, just click here. For example, I want the RSI indicator. Okay, it can be shown as well. And if I just want to buy, I just click buy. Say I want to buy 5 shares of Tesla at 500. Just kidding. Right, day here shows that this order is only enforced for the day itself. However, if you select good till cancel, it basically means that the order will stand until a cancellation date. Usually it's a few months down the road. Outside RTH means outside of retail trading hour. So if I select this, it means that this order will also be effective outside of the retail trading hour. That means beyond 4 o'clock. You can also select profit taker or stop loss. So once you confirm, you just click submit order.
then this will actually show. Okay. This shows that your order has been submitted. Click done. And if you want to look at your order, just simply go to trade, orders and trade. These are the list of orders that you have placed. And if you want to sell, it's the same thing as well. And click sell. Similar parameters. You can even go to report, statement, to have a look at your activity statement. So how to fund your IBKR account? Essentially, there are two methods. The first method is using Singapore Bank. So basically, you are transferring the money from your Singapore Bank to IBKR Singapore Bank account. Yes, they have a Singapore Bank account in SGD. Once you transfer this SGD over, you can convert from SGD to USD in IBKR platform. The advantage of this is that you can control the forex rate and you can time your conversion. If you don't have a Singapore bank account, consider CIMB Singapore. Alright, so we're going to show you how to deposit your account. You click transfer, pay, make a deposit. In here, you can see I've already set up four accounts, but I'm going to show you how to add a new recipient. Get instructions under bank wire. In here, you are required to key in your bank account details. Just key in accordingly and the deposit amount and click get wire instructions. And then after you click, these are the list of wire instructions that you have. Do take note of the bank they use. In this case here is Citibank. Remember the SWIFT code, the bank account number, and your reference number. You will need to key in those when you are in your bank later. So now I'm at my bank which is DBS. You click transfer, transfer to other bank fast. Okay, so you just fill in the information according to the wire instructions earlier. In this case here, I'm just going to skim through it very fast. Recipient name, interactive brokers. Bank, Citibank, as we've seen earlier, again I copy and paste the bank account number. Okay. Transfer purpose others. And then one very important point is please put your user ID in the reference. Otherwise, it's very hard for IBKR to identify who the sender is. This way you have evidence that the money that you send is for your account. Once you have transferred over, your SGD will appear at the bottom. To convert, click at the most bottom, convert. In this case here, it should be from SGD to USD, but because I do not have SGD, so I'm using it to demonstrate to you only. The second method is using WISE platform to transfer to IBKR US Bank account. In this method, you are using WISE platform to transfer USD to IBKR USD Bank account. The disadvantage to this is that you are transferring at the forex rate on that day itself, so you have no control. But however, WISE platform is still much cheaper compared to using banks to transfer money internationally. It is 3 to 6 times cheaper. What typically costs like 300 ringgit to transfer will only cost you 50 ringgit instead. And it is a UK company regulated by FCA, so you are safe. They are able to do this is because they have a network of local banks. Okay, we'll follow the same method as earlier. You go to bank wire, get instructions. Under here, you just key in WISE as the platform. You don't need to key in your account number. Select your deposit amount and then click get wire instruction. These are the list of wire instructions earlier. It's the same as what you have seen earlier. The only difference is that there's a routing number. Be sure to save these details and copy it to WISE platform later. Now you go to WISE, you click send money. They will ask you how much to send for. In this case here, I will select 1000 USD as shown earlier. You can see that the rate is much better. In fact, six times cheaper than typical bank. The conversion rate is also very competitive. If you just Google, you'll find that the Forex rate is actually similar. You click continue. Okay, in here I'm going to click new recipient business. Okay, here you just key in the details as per the wire instructions earlier. Key in the email, the organization name, 
the ACH routing number and your account number and then click checking account and then follow the address that was shown in the wire instructions after you're done just click next so here you select the purpose of transfer click submit here make sure the details are correct your name the routing number the bank account and the account type be sure that under the reference section to key in the user ID of your IBKR. This is very important to ensure that when you transfer the money over, IBKR will know that this money that you transferred belongs to your account. You click confirm and continue. In here, I will just click pay with online banking. And then I click continue payment you'll be led to a list of local banks. This will be just like your FPX transfer. You will then be led to the Maybank page where you're required to key in your credentials. So after you key in it, just like how you do your online payment. Once successful, it will take several days for WISE to transfer the money over to IBKR. When the money has arrived, you will see the USD being reflected at the bottom, just like your earlier method. So I hope you learned something today and as always, invest safe.